know, I wasn't even planning to make a video today until this morning. I'm checking my comments on my new Jiyun Crane M3 review and Tyson wants to challenge me to vlog today on the setup. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. This is smooth, all right? So this is really quite nice. I think the one thing you have to get used to though is as you pivot your body, you need to turn the gimbal handle in the right way to make sure you're always in frame. There's a bit of a delay, but I'm gonna put this thing back down and talk a bit about my experience since unboxing and reviewing this uh, the other day. I think one of the things, here, let me go ahead and adjust this. Again, one of the things that I love about just like vlogging on a gimbal, the little joystick is incredible. So one of the things that I will say, and I will continue to say it until there is a solve, is the gimbal base plate is such a pain. So again, saw that comment this morning and I said, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and vlog all day with my gimbal. And the first thing I had to do was slowly remove my Arca Swiss uh, compatible plate and then reattach my FX3 to the M3. It's an inconvenience, but I will say kind of long-term having to switch from a stationary tripod to the gimbal, it would be a lot more pleasant if this thing was Arca Swiss compatible with some form of quick release plate. Again, assuming that small rig will probably come out with one, that would be great. Let me show you this. The one thing I learned about trying to create my own makeshift um, quick release plate is I bought the PGY Tech quick release system, which is actually really nice. If you are considering something like this, I would definitely check it out, but this is the M3 base plate tripod. But you can take this, see that? Boom. Now anything with an Arca Swiss plate is quick release. Snaps right in there. So I actually tossed this on the gimbal plate of the Jiyun crane. The problem is though, it elevates the camera so high that the center of gravity is no longer spread across the entire plate. It's actually just in that little square and that throws off the entire balance of the gimbal, which is a shame because I thought that would have been a fix and that could have saved me from all the pain that comes with attaching and detaching my camera from this gimbal. And it really is something that's very enjoyable. It's also very dark in my house, so I'm not gonna be adjusting the exposure too much. Oh. Alexa, studio on. All right, how does that look? Honestly, I am really digging the size of this little gimbal. That was a very smooth transition. And again, I think the nice thing is just like, walking and talking with this thing is gonna be pretty pleasant. It's not much heavier than my existing vlog setup, which is PGY Tech Mantis Pod and my FX3 and all the shotgun mics and filters and all that good stuff. So I will say I am really, really enjoying this so far. And again, the nice thing is it feels pretty lightweight. I will say I am just really digging the look and the smoothness that I get from this gimbal. You do have to get used to how you handle the different modes. Right now I have this in pan follow mode, which means before I make a move left or right, I am gonna preempt that with a bit of a counter twist so that the camera stays as locked onto me as possible. But again, I think it's just muscle memory, something I will get used to as I shoot more handheld vlogging style like this. Uh, all right, let's sit and chat a bit. So I'm really enjoying this challenge so far. I like vlogging with this gimbal. It's really nice. The footage is looking pretty smooth. And I will also say that with Vlogmas, finding reasons and topics and content ideas to make videos about every single day has 
has been tough, a lot of the times it is just very fun. This is a great creative outlet. But on some days, like there's really not much going on. I don't know what to vlog about. Like, what do I share? What do I show? This particular challenge, Tyson, I appreciate it. This is actually pretty fun because it is a chance for me to put this gimbal to the test, especially with the vlogging aspect that I talked about, right? Right now, the FX3 is really well balanced. The overall weight of the gimbal and the camera feels pretty good. I've got the Sony ECM B1M right on top. Again, worst possible name for a shotgun mic, but an incredible shotgun mic because it's so light and small, which means it doesn't add a lot of weight to the overall payload. That B-roll with this gimbal looks so good. Now, having tested this for most of the day, I'm gonna say this is a very, very usable setup because it's light. Obviously right now I've got this in stationary mode. It's just set down. I've got the joystick. I can move the angle of the camera around and kind of going back to my original point, this gimbal is almost there on the convenience side. The only thing that's really missing is that Arca Swiss compatible quick release plate. And for me, that is going to be a game changer when and if it ever becomes available. This thing is still totally worth the money that you pay. It is a much smaller price tag compared to the larger gimbals out there. And for its size and the amount of weight that it can hold, this is really an invaluable tool for me as a creator. So I honestly love this thing, especially having tested it in the vlog style, you know, kind of situation. And that's the nice thing. You can go from a handheld vlog setup to stationary, relatively easy. And because of those little tripod feet at the bottom, doesn't really take up much surface area, which again makes this thing really nice to use. It's not the tallest gimbal in the world, but that's fine. I've got a Peak Design travel tripod for like really tall shots, for tabletop, like talking head style stuff. This thing is great for the handheld vlogging. Very versatile, very useful, still very light. All right, and for someone who had no idea what they were gonna film today, we've got this whole video done. So I will catch y'all in the next one. Tell them, Sven. Like and subscribe for more content just like this.